Alright guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to be solving question 13 from the chapter 8 of Beer and Johnson textbook in Mechanics. And in this one, we have the static and kinetic coefficients of uh, all surfaces that we have in here. We need to determine the smallest force P required to start the 30 kilogram block moving if uh, cable A at A part is attached. And then the B part when the cable AB is removed. So as always, we're going to start with the free body diagram of each of these blocks. Well, let's go with the A part where the uh, cable AB is attached to each of these blocks. So we're going to start with the free body diagram of 20 kilogram block. So we have the weight of this block, which would be mass times acceleration of gravity or 9.81 meter per square second so we're gonna have 20 times 9.81 that's gonna give us the weight in newtons we have the normal force can call it n1 and so the force p is applying on the 30 kilogram block so it's gonna move that one to the left so the bottom one is gonna go to the left and because the cable attached to 20 kilogram um that's going to move to the right so the friction has to be in the opposite direction or in this direction we can call it f1 and since we have to start the moving we have to pass the static friction or mu s times n1 so we are in equilibrium we have sum of all forces equals zero let's do sum of all forces in x direction but before that we forgot one force that would be the tension in the cable AB, which is attached at point A to the 20 kilogram block. So if we do some of all forces in X direction, all this are positive X axis, we basically have the tension minus the friction or F1, which is the static coefficient 0.4 times N1. And if you want to find the N1, uh, we're just going to do some of all forces in y direction. Let's call this our positive. We basically have the weight and n1. So w minus n1 is equal to zero again because of the equilibrium condition. So our n1 would be 20 times 9.81, 20 times 9.81, or 196.2. So now we have our n1. Uh, if we want to get back to previous part. Our friction is mu s times n1. We found our n1 96.2 equals zero. And our t would be from here. Our t would be 196.2 times 0.4, which is going to be 78.48. So now we got the tension from this block. We can move on to the free body diagram of 30 kilogram block. And again, we are start solving the A part of the question. So the cable is attached. So for 30 kilogram block, we have the force P in here. On the left side, we have the cable or the tension to the right, which is what we found in the previous part. We have the normal force N1 in the opposite direction of what we had in the previous block. And since it's moving to the left, the friction would be in the opposite. Uh, with same magnitude of F1 that we found in the previous part, we also have another normal force from the ground. We can call this N2. And again, the friction has to be in the opposite direction. So we can find N2 in here pretty easy. Uh, we forgot one force uh, here, and that would be the weight of this block. So let's just consider the weight of this block we can show it uh with w and that would be 30 times 9.81 we have a different mass for this block and that's pretty much everything so we can start with our equilibrium equation same x and y and in here we have n2 minus n1 which was what we found in here 196.2 minus the weight or 30 times 9.81 so 30 times 9.81 is going to give us 294.3 equals 0 so n2 would be this plus 196 plus 2 
or 490.5 newtons. So we found N2, now we can move on to sum of all forces in X. So we're going to have T, which we found is 78.48 minus force P. We are trying to find this force plus F1. We found F1 in the previous part. F1 is basically what we had in here, which is uh, equal to T. So plus another 78.48. And we have F2, which will be mu S times N2. So plus 0.4, which is our coefficient times N2, what we found in the previous part, 490.5 equals zero. And here we can find our P, 78.48 times two plus uh, 0.4 times 490.5. And our force P would be 353.16. Newtons, and that would be the answer for the A part where we have the cable AB attached. But in the B part, we have to remove the cable. So if you remove the cable, let's move on to the B part. Our free by diagram would be different. We basically have uh, two of these boxes laying on each other. So basically, we have one single free by diagram. For both of these two, when we have the force P applying in here, uh, obviously for the weight, we have the weight of both. So our W in here would be 20 plus 30 times G. And we're going to consider normal force in here. And since the movement is to the left, the friction has to be in the opposite. We can call it F and it will be the coefficient times the normal force. Uh, same scenario, we're going to do some of all forces in y direction first in order to find our normal force. So we have n minus 50 times 9.81 equals 0. So our n would be 50 times 9.81, 490.5 newtons. And if we do some of all forces in x, equals zero we basically have uh the friction 0.4 times 490.5 minus p equals zero or our p would be uh 490.5 times 0.4 which is going to be 196.2 newtons and that's for the part that we don't have the cable and we have one single free body diagram for both blocks which is going to give us a PL 196.2 newtons. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, you're covering three different textbooks for engineering mechanics in this channel. Feel free uh, to check out the playlist and let me know if you have any specific problem that you want me to cover in the next videos. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.